Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a blog on Google Sites in 2024. So today we're going to create a blog using Google Sites. Whether you are a writer, a hobby, yes, or just want to share for example your thoughts with the world, Google Sites will make it very easy for you to set up and manage your blog. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video and simply let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and open a browser. For me here, I'm using Brave for you, you can use whatever you want. And the first thing that you should do, if you don't have a Google account, is simply go and create a Google account. So you can go to the URL section, as an example, you can type simply google.com. Hit the enter button, you'll find yourself basically here. Click add this icon at the top right corner. Normally you wouldn't find any icon, but you'll find just a uh, empty thing. Just click on it to create a Google account if you don't have one. If you have one already, just go back to this URL section, type sites.google.com and hit the enter button. Then this should take you where you should start, uh, where you will be able to start creating your blog. So here, you can first of all start from a blank site where you have an empty page, no pages, nothing, and no themes, no nothing. Or you can start from a template that they have here in the templates gallery. As you can see, they have templates for personal, for work, for small businesses, and for education also. So you can choose a one that suits your needs. As an example, a lot of things here that you can choose from. Maybe as an example, uh, I don't know. Which one should I choose? Maybe, as you can see, they have portfolio, restaurants, family updates, events, help center. Uh, there is nothing for specific for blog, but you, it should not be like something specific for a blog. You can just, just choose the template that suits you, that you like, and you can simply customize it to make it a blog. Maybe, as an example, I'll choose this student's portfolio, and I'll make it try to make it as a blog. As an example, or... Maybe if I didn't like it, you can simply just start from blank site and try to make this blank site as a block. So we can go here to themes, first of all, and you can choose a theme as an example that we like, depending on whatever you want. Maybe as an example, you can choose the themes that's already have uh, created by Google. We can go and create a theme, or you can simply upload the theme if you have one on our PC, as an example. So let's go here. As you can see, we can even upload one from uh, Google Drive if we have it. If you don't, we can simply go and upload it there. If you have it, of course, on your PC to start using it on your Google Sites. So here, as an example, we can start, first of all, by adding a logo and entering a site name. So for me, I'll name it like Omics. Your page title normally this should be the home page and all as we said we'll add the logo so just go here so here an example we have two things to upload favicon and the logo what is a favicon of course a logo like the picture that's going to show here and what is a favicon favicon is simply this picture as you can see this small picture on the left of the tab of your site so example if we go to uh, google.com this is, as you can see, the favicon, this small picture. If we go maybe to uh, Wix.com or, I don't know, maybe Squarespace or Shopify also, as an example. So, as you can see, this is their favicon. If we go to Instagram, as an example, this is their favicon. So, as you can see here, if we go and click on Upload, we can upload the favicon. And we can upload the logo as an example. Maybe this is going to be the logo and this is going to be the favicon. Of course, you can change here, uh, select uh, color for uh, theme. Of your logo as an example here of course so whatever color I change here of course it's changed right here so I'll choose maybe this one as an example and this is gonna be the favicon of course if we go on here and click on preview oh sorry so it will not show in preview it will show just the logo of course you can preview in the tablet and the phone everything so exist preview so here basically of course once we publish it we'll be able to see the favicon that we have so here as you can see we have now this is the home screen of course we can go here to pages example we can add like so wait let me just go and delete that first of all we can add oh, sorry again so we can add like a new menu section as you can see we can add we can add as an example uh, embed uh, like a full page embedded and we can add like a new link or a new simple page depending on whatever you want so 
it basically it depends on your customization, however you want to customize your pages. Of course, uh, here on the home page, it's basically uh, for you to create like your blog posts. It's time to create some blog posts, of course, on your home page. You can even go and create like a page specifically for that. You can create a new page and name that a new page as an example uh, according to the title of your blog post as an example. I'll only name it test at the moment for you. You can name it whatever you want. And if you don't want to have it on as an example on your home page, you can name this test. And here, as an example on this new page, you can start adding like text, images, and any other elements that you want to include in your blog post. You can use this insert tab as an example. And we can go and insert like a text box, then as an example, an image. So I'll just go and click on select something. So recent, okay, so I'll just go here and click an image and upload something from my computer. So I'll just go choose this one as an example. I'll put it in front of that text uh, as an example. And here we already added that text, so I don't have to add this again. So I'll just go and remove it. As you can see, I already have a text in here. So as an example, I'll make this uh, image a little bit smaller. Of course, we can uh, move it however you want. We can start adding, as an example, the text on it. We'll be able to add whatever we want on it, like other media that we want, like maybe a video, like a YouTube video, uh, social links, like some buttons, some table of contents if you want, some slides. Uh, you can even add, where is it, like a cool thing, which is uh, this image carousel. So if you go here, you can simply just insert images that you want to have in the image carousel, as an example, and click on insert. So as an example, instead of this one, I'll just add this image carousel, as you can see. I'll make it here in the middle and we can simply add a text uh, to that as an example here. Yeah, uh, basically just type whatever you want, description of your blog post and whatever. And yeah, as you can see, an image carousel. So if you click on preview in here, so I'll just show as an example this image carousel. So this is how it's going to look on the phone as an example. On the tablet, this is how it's going to look. And the PC, this is how it's going to look as you can see. So it's smaller a little bit on uh, PC, but at least it shows correctly in the phone, which is what's matter for SEO. So basically here, I'll not uh, follow like all those customizations because it's up to you depending on what, whatever you want to add in your blog page. Uh, so add whatever you want on it, customize the design of it, preview it. If everything working is intended, you can simply click on publish to publish the site on this URL. As you can see, sites.google.com.view and you can simply add whatever after. So for me, I'll just add something like that. And I'll basically add this something here. You can request some public search engines uh, to do not display in my site. You can manage a custom domain if you have one. Click on publish and you'll be able to start a viewing it. So if you click on view in here, as you can see, this first of all, the favicon that we talked about. Normally, it should be a better like logo to show correctly and as you can see this is going to be it so if we go here into home we go to test and here and we find everything that we added we can simply in publishing it again whenever we want so this is going to be it for me today thank you for watching and goodbye